Allow your customers to pay their job tread invoices through QuickBooks Online by showing a Pay Now button that will redirect to the QuickBooks payments. To set this up, navigate to your job tread settings and then click the Integrations tab. Then we'll select the QuickBooks Online tile. This is where you can customize your integration settings. Locate the setting to display the Pay Now button on invoices. Turn this on and be sure to save your changes. Now it is a good idea to double check that you have enabled the options for ACH or credit card transactions in your QuickBooks Online account. You'll find those options in the Sales Form section of your QuickBooks Online settings. Now let's see this in action. We'll head to our job and then we'll create a new document. So we're going to choose our invoice document. And then we'll select the cost items that we want on that document and then we'll hit create. Now you may choose to hide cost items to only show the top level groups on this invoice. You now have the option to show the QuickBooks Online Pay Now button. Then choose which payment methods you'd like to accept, either ACH bank transfer or credit card or both. The accepted payment options in QuickBooks Online can be overridden by the payment methods that you select here on the job tread invoice. When you're ready, send this invoice to your customer. Now let's preview the invoice as one of our customers now. Here you'll see that they have a Pay Now button. When they click this button, they will be redirected to the QuickBooks Online payment screen where they can enter their payment information. One more quick note. If your customer clicks the View Invoice button here, they will see the invoice created in QuickBooks Online through the integration. If you had chosen to hide cost items and only show the cost groups on your job tread invoice, when it pushes to QuickBooks Online, all your cost items may show on this invoice. So in order to change this, you may want to create an invoice template in QuickBooks Online that does not have any line item details. Our accounting partner, Penny Lane, will walk us through these steps now. We're gonna create an invoice template that has no details on it. Click on the gear icon, custom form styles. We're gonna go ahead here and create a new style of invoice. And we're going to name this no line item details. Um, from here, we're going to choose, uh, I'm going to choose Airy Classic. Know that at one point I ran into some trouble with one of these invoice templates and I don't remember which one it was, that it would, even though I made this update, it would not stick. So if you have that problem, um, just try another one of these templates. Uh, the Airy Classic seems to work. So choose the Airy Classic or whichever template you want. Click on the content, then click the pencil here where we can see our line item details and just make sure everything here is unchecked. Nothing checked here and then click done. Now let's pull up an invoice that I already have in my system that has a lot of line item details on it. This invoice here, as we can see, has a lot of line item detail that came over from our job tread invoice. And in my note to customer, I'm going to put whatever I want my customer to see, because again, they're not going to see any description. So if I need to give them a description on this QuickBooks invoice, I'm going to type it in this note to customer area. And then over here under the design, I'm going to make sure that I choose my no line items details template. Now let's see what this looks like by clicking print and download. Here we can see that we see no line item details. All we see is what we typed in that customer description. Thanks, Penny. As always, if you have any questions or need assistance, please contact your success manager or email support at jobtread.com.